Here we have an HP Photo Scanner 1000, USB only, no power cord, no power adapter for it, powered 100% via USB. Open it up, there's your lens. It's made for scanning your like actual photos. If anyone remembers those, actual cameras. Before you had digital, you'd scan these into your, into your computer. You also use it for scanning receipts too if you want to keep records. So I'll go ahead, look it up to the USB, and we'll see if this thing even still works, and then we'll find something to scan. Laptop found it. That was the start I'm ready to use. E text document. So it's installed just like that. It's plug and play. At least on X, XP and, oh, and newer. So let's see. What do I have that I can scan? Right, we'll try scanning this, trying to find something small enough to put in here. I think there's a button I'm supposed to press, yeah, on the side here. Listen to that stepper motor sound. Now the fun part is trying to figure out where it stores it, because I don't remember. I think I go into scan or uh, image scanner. No, that's for the brother. Um, my documents. Might be this guy, desktop INI. Ain't it? Um, I know it installs them somewhere. I'm just trying to remember where, where the hell to find them. I don't know if I have to install the software. It installs them somewhere on here. I just don't remember where. I'm trying to remember. Let me see if I can. Fi oh, if I actually pay attention. There it is, upside down. But just flip it. Because the image is read only, the rotated version cannot be saved using the same file name. Click copy to and give it a new file name. Whatever. There you go. Scan to that. So that's where it is. Devices with removable storage. Removable disk. So I'm going to press it again with the lid open. Hold it open. All these years, I think still works. Scan O2. That's with the lid open. It doesn't save them because it's only read because it's things the memory that's in here is currently storing the photo. So that's why it's read only. So you'd have to copy it to some. Okay, so I went and saved it now. Physically saving it, and now it the size almost doubled 1062 kilobytes that should because of the dimensions of the picture rotating it might permanently reduce its quality like that let's back up let's see what else we can scan how about an a track tape i do this with one hand because the lid won't stay open Part. So now we'll go into here. 
effect of this photo scan one, scan three. There it is. Now, if you want to, now you have to save, but you have to physically click on the save icon. In order to do anything with it. So then you go to uh, documents. It's right here, new image, LJPD. It's so replaced the one I had. There you go. Neat little thing for the time. To back up your old photo memories. Now we just plug our phone or digital camera into the computer and download them that way. But before that, this is how you preserve your memories.